Well, what we found was that uh, a group of older adults who played a video game that we custom designed to train a deficit that we know that population has in their ability to deal with interference, um, which is distraction and multitasking, and in general, cognitive control abilities. We found that by playing the game um, repetitively over a period of time that we were able to improve how they played the game in terms of multitasking on the game, but also other abilities that we didn't train directly, like their sustained attention and their working memory. So we made a game that involved playing it for a set amount of time that had adaptivity so it got harder as you got better and we thought that if we challenged people's abilities in an interference laden place where it was really complicated and busy it would help drive their brain to adapt in a way that would have helped them in other areas. It shows what a lot of us have been learning and we believe is that the older brain is still plastic. That plasticity, this ability of our brain to reshape yeah. itself in response to a stimulus from the environment uh, doesn't end at a critical period of development but continues throughout our life. So if we just know how to, how to target it and, and channel it directly, then we can get very large effects. But um, the type of, of training that people might think is helpful, like playing a crossword, uh, puzzle and other types of, of games that don't really push these abilities at a very fundamental level might have might not have as much of an effect. So it really depends what you're doing. Not everything that you do will be equally good for your brain or, or for the rest of your body for that matter.